our pro project is about domestic abuse and the COVID-19 pandemic. And we're looking at um, how policy, legislation, strategy, funding streams may change as a result of the pandemic. Our focus is on policy in, in relation to domestic abuse broadly, but we'll also take a sharper um, focused look at housing policy change in that context as well. Why is it important? Well, it's, um, I don't think anyone could have failed to notice the increased profile that domestic abuse has had um, as a result of the, of the lockdown. It's certainly likely to, the lockdown is likely to have amplified the incidents and the, 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 the challenging experience of domestic abuse. It's certainly amplified debate about it. And we are interested in exploring whether this impacts on what we actually, the policies we develop in order to address this problem. Now, interestingly, there are, there were, there are two bills going through the Westminster Parliament and the Northern Irish Parliament, um, which were are focused on, um, on domestic abuse and were conceived prior to the pandemic, but are going through parliamentary processes during it. And so it's a very interesting um, time to look at whether this moment of crisis does lead to some kind of change in policy or, or, um, or legislation. What we're hoping to achieve um, in doing this work is, first of all, really to chart and compare policy change across the UK within the four nations um, of the UK and to look at housing change within that context, housing policy change. We're um, going to look in, in detail at the, these legislative processes that are underway um, because they are um, certainly interesting cases of this process. We're, um, we're going to examine media discourse about domestic abuse, um, look at the frames, the debates, the silences in the mainstream media in the pre-COVID period um, and compare that to the post-COVID period in a number of ways. And we are we're hoping to engage meaningfully with stakeholders to understand their perspectives on these policy changes and their likely impacts. In terms of methods, how we're going to do our research, we're starting off with looking at debates and discourses in a fairly light touch way, but in order to produce some kind of tools that um, we can then explore the usefulness of with some key informants. Um, our first set of key informants will be um, um, senior people who are involved in, in policy shaping, um, policy debates, from a legal perspective, from a housing policy perspective, and from a campaigning advocacy perspective. We also plan to speak to people who are actually providing services to those people who are victims of domestic abuse to understand their perspectives on um, the cha and change, on the need for change. Um, and also, um, after Christmas, to do a, a deeper analysis of debates, discourses, and try and understand how they might be intersecting with influencing policy debates and policy changes. 